in a discussion that I, I had with uh, Fellini, I, <clears throat> in Prelude, I, uh, I wrote some stuff to be done with jump cuts, which were in at that time. Mm. And I, I told him that I'd written a, a particular scene. I had written to be done with jump cuts, but when I came down to doing it, I couldn't do it. What? It just, I, 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 it doesn't, just wasn't Felt right. Forced. Yeah. It, it, it was the director interfering with the uh, action of the piece. And uh, so I, I shot them classically, as it were. And I said to him that I noticed, you know, in all of your films, they, now he, <clears throat> this doesn't apply to everything because at this time he was shooting Satyricon. Mm -hmm. And I said, I, 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 in looking at what you've done, I never saw a jump cut, even the most bizarre scene of all or whatever. And he said, uh, he said, I don't like tricks. He says, what I want is for the camera to tell my story. And that's really what it comes down to for me. I just want the camera to tell my story. And, and so whatever that generates in my imagination, in terms of a shot, that's how I'm going to shoot it. Directors do it all the time, but they, they insert themselves into, now that can be a style, I suppose, <laughs> but uh, if you're, if you're uh, uh, shooting something and, uh, uh, and you intrude on the scene as a director, so much so that somebody says, wow, what a great shot, or, uh, oh, terrific move, you know, uh, unless they're looking for it, you, that, that's not... Uh, it's not the way you want to go.